Hello fellow coffee botherers, I'm Kev from coffeeblog.co.uk and in this video I'm going to be doing another milk steaming tutorial with the Sage or Breville Bambino Plus. I've been learning to pour latte art for a good few years now and the one thing I find the most frustrating is trying to get the milk texture perfect. In fact, I think the number one trick to perfecting latte art is to perfect the milk texture. Once you're getting perfect milk texture every time, every practice counts, but if your texture is hit and miss, your latte art attempt will be hit and miss too. I've had a few instances lately where I've really screwed up the milk texture, which led me to doing some research and experimentation, and I believe that I've now found the perfect technique for manually steaming milk with the Bambino Plus. This should work with other Sage or Breville machines, including the Duotemp Pro, the Barista Express, but you might need to tweak the timings slightly as they have a slightly different thermoblock system and a different steam tip. What I've started doing now is to add a short rolling phase before the aeration phase. So you'll need a timer, luckily just about all smartphones have them, so grab your phone, purge the wand, start the timer and bury the tip, but don't aerate. Just focus on starting the milk rolling. And you wanna have the milk rolling by about four or five seconds in. At about four or five seconds, then lower the jug and start introducing the air gently and constantly for about 30 seconds. I've experimented with this and I find that gradual aeration, which sounds like ripping paper or hissing snake works better than a shorter and more aggressive aeration which sounds more like gushing or roaring than a softer ripping paper sound. For about 250 grams of milk I keep this up for 30 seconds so 35 seconds total time including the initial milk rolling phase and then I raise the jug to stop the aeration the ripping paper sound should stop and now I'm just heating the milk up and you're looking for somewhere between 45 to 50 seconds to get to around 65 degrees celsius with 250 ml of milk so you can just carry on with this final heating phase until you've reached your desired milk temperature. Everything else is the same as my earlier tutorials. The jug position is the same. It's just this initial milk rolling phase prior to aeration and the specific milk stretching time that enables you to get the same results each time. Since doing it this way, I've been getting perfect milk texture every time. Okay, so we're starting off purging the wand. Now we're starting the milk rolling phase. So we're not getting any air in now. We're just starting the milk rolling. <laughs> gone to about five seconds now we're dropping the jug slightly to start that aeration phase and as you can hear that's a gradual light aeration that paper ripping sound or sort of hissing snake sound it isn't a gushing or roaring sound that you get from aggressive aeration it's just light gradual aeration do that for about 30 seconds so get to 35 seconds total time and then lift the jug up so we're burying the tip and now we're just heating when you've reached your desired temperature stop there we go do it once more, shall we?
So there you go, what I believe to be the best method for consistently producing great milk texture with the Sage or Breville Bambino Plus. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to click the like button, cheers. And if you've enjoyed this video, click here to watch another one. And don't forget, in order to become a fully certified coffee botherer, you need to click this image around here somewhere to subscribe to our channel. Tati bye.